chapter 52. The secret in all things self-reflection is key. Today's chapter is just one sentence. Let me read it again. The secret in all things self-reflection is key. The title says this is kind of a secret because it is, it is not hidden or uh, concealed by uh, on purpose, but because now many people know the, this secret. The Buddha is teaching this all the time, but uh, not many people realize this. Um, there are six parameters, which is a summary of all the good deeds in this world. Uh, there are six kinds of good deeds. Buddha summarized all the good deeds into six. So basically, we have six different separate uh, good deed. And each one of them are, uh, is important. And one of them is self-reflection. So some people might wonder uh, why here self-reflection gets such a focus uh, as if other five are not so important. Of course, all the six are important. So after 2,600 years, uh, Buddha already passed away uh, 2,600 years ago, but still this teaching has been handed down to this generation. Six parameters are all important. But why Buddha shed light, uh, spotlight, the, the one of them, which is self-reflection, my understanding is by practicing self-reflection, uh, we can see things as they are. We can see the world as it is, and we can see ourselves as we are. It's, the, it's what is called right view. And this is one of the most important practice in the Eightfold Path, there are different categories of, of good deeds. Eightfold Path is a little more sophisticated or complex or difficult to practice, but it's still a they are still good deed. Having a right view is very important. Uh, when going forward on our spiritual journey, and also, right view is such a difficult practice, only enlightened people can practice it uh, in, a, in the true sense of the word. For us, we human beings, uh, we have so many different bias, biases or fallacies, false assumptions, and we are always wearing uh, tainted glasses. We can't see things as they are. And that's why we are suffering. Uh, we don't know our true self. And as a result, we cannot see the world as they are, as it is. Uh, we all have problem in human relationship and with our blind passions. So in a sense, the, the very reason why human beings have to suffer this much is a lack of self-reflection. Um, that's why we tend, we are prone to stumble over the same stone twice or multiple times. Uh, it's very difficult to improve and go forward and grow spiritually. So in, in this sense, self-reflection is the key. 
So it's counted as the fifth among the six. Number six is wisdom, and that's the most difficult one. It's, wisdom is the summary of all the six. So in that sense, self-reflection, which is listed as number five, yeah, this is the most difficult one and important, and uh, it can be the foundation. So in practical uh, advice, we are encouraged to keep a journal or uh, at least we should practice self-reflection three times a day. Uh, reflect, we, we, we reflect upon our actions and uh, thought pattern at least three times a day uh, in our mind. Even if you don't have time to write, write it down, it's very important to practice self-reflection in a quiet environment. So from this day on until the New Year's Day, it's kind of a quiet time. People might, many more and more people might become spiritual. Yeah, it's a good period of time of the year. So let's start our good habit of self-reflection. Okay, my talk has become a little bit uh, longer. That's all for 